you talk there about uh, the importance of attitude and having the right attitude. I mean, chapter one in your book is entitled TV, Are You Tough Enough? And TV does have a reputation as being a challenging place to work with, as you mentioned, egos, long hours, stress. Is it a place for shrinking violets, do you think? Well, I would probably say not. Shrinking violets, if you're, I mean, there's, you know, I know many intellectual, thoughtful, quiet uh, producers. Um, I know who um, are not madly extroverts, but I would say that there is a level of confidence and creativity and resourcefulness that most people in TV have. And I think you need to, it's also a, a job where each program has different needs and therefore you need to employ different methods and think creatively about the challenges of making a particular program. And, and, and no one job I found in my experience when I was in production, no one job really prepared me for the next. I mean, the only skills that you have are those of being able to find a story, track down people, persuade them to take part. And each time you, you work on a program, you're learning it about an entirely different area, an entirely different group of people. And you have to be fearless in, and go into situations and talk to people and being able to face-to-face uh, -face and on the phone and assess them quickly and work out their, you know, where they might fit into the program and persuade them to take part. I mean, it's, yeah, I, I do think you need to be, uh, to have an inner sort of strength. I mean, whether that means that you manifest as shrinking, shrinking violet on the surface, that's one thing, but I just definitely think that uh, the people that I see who are successful and I meet Sometimes I'm interviewing all day, and I can meet seven or eight people a day, some I've met before, some new people, but I think the successful people have a degree of resilience and strength and charm and also a can-do attitude where they kind of, you know, they're persistent, but without even thinking about it, they just get on with it. It makes complete sense to me, and they're characteristics which, in a competitive job market, you need to have that inner core strength and belief in what you're doing to put yourself forward for the job because yeah. if, and you, can't if you walk win, into a job you blame others and complain and you, and, you, know, you have to be flexible to ride with the changes you know and i've worked on programs live programs where you spend a week preparing a, a, a running order for a show and standing up guests and then it could all change at the last minute and you have to rewrite the whole thing again and find guests and uh, you know it, it can be and you have to just say yes okay then you can't stick your heels in or complain or be phased by that you know I, I think it's just really is um and it's the people that roll with that who come up with solutions rather than problems or who are the ones that succeed a candid attitude will uh will get you a long way yeah